Hotel to everyone out there in the land of Barbados, a country I dearly love and I'm watching it deteriorate. I'm going to speak to you this morning just a little few words on water. If you agree with me, let's do something about it. Now, last week, or I believe it's the week before, um, Peter Phillips, representative for St. Lucie, you know, he came on brass tacks to represent the situation that's going on at present in St. Lucie. And I have maintained my position. You cannot ask Barbadians who are getting dirty water, rusty water, water that looks like it's coming from the sewage. Perhaps some persons are still using it to bed with. Uh, I don't mind they're washing the cars wet in the garden, but they really should not be bathing with it because it's going to have a long-term effect on their skin. Now, I have done a little bit of research and I found that in 2012, 38 million dollars was given to the then government to repair some water mains, do some water restructuring, water fixing, no matter whatever you call it. They were supposed to get 38 million or they got pretty much they got 38 million dollars. What did that 38 million dollars do? Can anyone in the previous government come forward and say, where did that $38 million go? How much repairs were done? Which areas were these repairs done and completely fixed prior to their leaving office? I must say, and I will continue to say as well, both political parties, both these and these, have been guilty of not addressing this water uh, repair means in, in Barbados. Both had opportunities to do it while they were there. So yes, we cannot put all the blame on this administration, but at present, this administration had all the answers. Okay? They're six years into office, and very little they have accomplished, if anything at all. Mr. Phillips had mentioned that, which I'm very annoyed because he's asking Barbadians to continue to pay for this water, even though they really cannot use it for cooking or washing clothes, still pay for it. Now you are taking in $18 million a month. And if you're taking in $18 million a month, and a few people in a parish, which is debatable, a few people in a parish not getting clean water, why should they have to continue to pay? Why not continue to give each household that receiving this bad water a tanker? Have it filled up each day and they can get a rebate on what they have lost so far or from here on they will not have to pay for any water until the situation has been rectified i'm in favor of that that seems more reasonable you cannot ask citizens of this country citizens of st lucy to continue to pay a water bill for dirty water that people have to donate water to them people have to bring um, gallons of water, buckets of water, you know, to them. People have to collect water from other places that get in clean water and bring for them. And you are asking them to pay for water that they cannot use. It is not right, Mr. Phillips. Young people, you have to change the status quo in Barbados of what these politicians are doing to us. You have to continue the mantle. We, 
we the older people have started a ball run, you have to take over and move forward with it. Okay? No time. There's no time to see what's going to happen, what's going to happen next. These politicians are playing us for a fool. They come to the airways, tell us that things are happening just so they can keep us quiet. We have to show them we mean business. You mean business as a young person. It has to change. No longer can we put up. No longer are you going to put up with this nonsense. It has to change. Okay? Now, I heard Mr. Phillips saying that it took two years to put down one kilometer. How can you put, take two years to put down one kilometer? And there is 60 more kilometers to put down. Okay? And you're going to tell, which means that it will take eight years to put down 16 kilometers. Yet you're going to come to the airways and tell persons within the next two years everything should be fixed and in order. No. You can't even take that to a, a normal citizen that is feeling the pinch of the St. Lucia and tell them that crap, Mr. Phillips. you got to reel and come again. Young people... I will continue to enlighten you on things that you need to know in this part of this, that these politicians, this administration is doing to us. I need you to come on board. We need your support. We will help you. The older folks will help you. Help you. We will guide you. We need to agitate, not violate. We need you to come and protest, not violate. So therefore, until we meet again, stay safe, continue to spread the word of this administration and the failure to meet the needs of us in the country while a prime minister that is running this country spends most of her time outside of Barbados trying to promote herself as Mrs. Miss Goodwill. And we are here suffering in Barbados. Until then, hold it until we meet again.